New South Wales power brokers will begin discussions tomorrow about who should replace Brad Fittler as Blues coach. Laurie Daly today revealed he'd be open to return to the job he held for five series, including his one triumph in 2014. It was Kangaroo's selection day, but the beast at his origin is always growling, especially when the Blues are without a coach. Today, after previously saying he wasn't interested, Laurie Daly indicated he'd like the job. Coach could be an option. Being a mentor, being in a leadership role, whatever it may be, I I'm always happy to help where I can. Daly has the advantage of being free from club coaching, an option Blues skipper James Tedesco favours. I think it probably does work better with someone who doesn't have some of the club coaching because they put all their energy and focus um, into the origin. Daly gave Tedesco his debut, something he's grateful for. He's very knowledgeable, still got great input and great knowledge of the game. So Respected, right? Yeah, yeah, 100%. Well respected around the game, so I'm sure you know, if you put his hand up, then they definitely have all everyone's support. Tedesco's Blues teammate Latrell Mitchell was a talking point a cameo in the Koori knockout for the Newcastle Yowies with a finger injury that ruled him out of the kangaroo selection didn't impress everyone. Mitchell's club in the firing line. A little disappointed that the South Sydney club gave him permission to play when they didn't give him permission to play for the, for the Aussies. You understand that? Well, it's not a national campaign. The other concern for the kangaroos, this punch from Josh Adokar. There is an issue with Josh Adokar at the moment. Yes, there is, and the integrity unit are looking into that incident. However, it would have been an injustice if he was left out uh, and then was proven innocent and, and had no, nothing to answer. So in, in the circumstances, he's been included. Is it in any way tarnishing the green and gold by picking him regardless? No, I don't think so, because as I said, you're innocent until proven guilty. And Val Holmes has been picked even though he's banned from the first test for this social media post with white powder. Rugby League's got a great redemptive feature about it and I'm not going to stonewall anyone who has repented, I guess, in a way. He wants to get on with his life. He's a great role model for our game, Val, and um, he understands he's made a mistake, but um, who doesn't? Danny Weidler, Nine News.